I just wanted to go over the administration of the review. That's your literature review, which is an example of a critical review. So you'll be supervised by a member of staff that will be chosen dependent on your pathway. Now this is going to be the supervisor for your final year project. The reason for this is this critical review is the first step of your project. You can't do a project unless you understand the project area. So the whole point of carrying out this review is to familiarize yourself with the area of which your final year project is going to be on. As I said, supervisors are assigned by degree pathway. And this is important because of timetabling issues. A key point is that it's your review. So the assessment criteria are looking at how you go through the process of creating the review. So they're part of the marks comes from how you critically survey the current literature and how you find the literature that you're going to include. Your supervisor is there as a guide, but they're not there to tell you what you're supposed to write. It's important that this is a piece of independent work because it's allowing you to build your judgment and your critical thinking to prepare you for employability. Now you can find out who your supervisor is from the literature review menu in uh, Blackboard where there are supervision lists. You need to contact your supervisor as soon as possible and definitely within the next two weeks so they can assign you a topic for the review and you should arrange to meet your supervisor before reading week. That could be an online meeting, a group meeting or maybe a one-to-one -one meeting. And you should also submit a plan of the review before the 1st of November so that hopefully you should get some feedback before the middle of November and that gives you until the middle of December to complete your review. Now important thing about the plan is it should not be a draft. It should be a short 100 to 200 words. The whole point of this is for you to lay out and give an idea about what content you're going to include in your review. You should mention the key concepts or any key papers or any key authors or people in the field or any key techniques. These should just be put together, maybe something like a bullet pointed thing. It doesn't have to be a coherent set of English and you should show how, what order these things are going to go in your review, how it will be structured. This is important because it allows your supervisor to figure out if you're on the right track or if you've uh, misunderstood what the topic is actually about. And this is very important if you're going to get a good mark. In terms of the structure, people often ask, what structure do you need? Should I have, uh, like in a usual scientific paper, introduction, methods, results, discussion? No because this is a critical review. You can you start in an introductory sense with a simpler material and then you build up your case. But what you're doing is taking all of the papers in that particular field, critically evaluating and bringing them together to synthesize their ideas. So the plan should show which concepts you're going to bring together when within your document from the beginning taking a broader view to something more specific as you get deeper into the uh, review and then finally a, a very brief summary to bring your review together.